Hey everyone, welcome back to Quasar's Garage, Quasar's Customs. Hey, um, let's get back into this 32, shall we? Uh, it has been a very long day for me, so if I make a few mistakes, please bear with me. I just feel like I've been working all day long, and now I get a chance to sit down and get this 32 built like I promised from the last episode. Um, I did go into the editor between episodes, and I did um, spread the wheels out a little bit on the rear end. I don't think I took him out far enough, though, but um, I did take him out just a little bit, a little bit farther. So the track was just just a little bit off because I put those larger wheels on it. Or as larger tires, I should say. So, um, we'll see what it looks like here in a second. Should be okay. Uh, I'm hoping anyway. But I may have to go in and do a little more editing after I get this complete just to see how it's going to look. Um, I edited because I did have some clipping into the body. And I probably still have some clipping back there, to be honest with you, because I put some pretty serious meats back there. Take a look at those. Oof. Big meaty meats. I'm going to keep the front tires the same size and just rebuild it up. Uh, like I was saying, it's been a long day. I've been working some long hours. I travel a lot. So when I'm traveling, this is my entertainment. I grab my laptop and I take it with me wherever I go. And you guys get to see videos. So, if you want to see more videos, pray I travel more. How's that? A little bit of a sore throat tonight as well. Uh, um, just got back from vacation a couple weeks ago. Uh, did an Alaska cruise. It was a lot of fun. But uh, my wife was a little sick on... Part of that cruise, she finally got better. And I think maybe I've caught, in, I've caught her cold. Let's take this transmission out while we're down underneath here. I have to worry about that later. Any other parts underneath here? No. All right. Ah, uh, well, okay. First things first. Let's see what we have left of our rims. In pretty good shape. Okay. Yes, I do want to separate. Thank you. This machine is so cool. Ooh, 18. I may have to replace that rim. Let's cross our fingers, shall we? Alright. Get to it here. I feel like I should have another badge coming up soon. I've repaired so many parts. Excuse me. Look at that. Not a one piece is fixed except for that one. Alright. Alright, so like in my other rebuilds, um, you'll notice how I do things just a little bit different than everyone else. I go in, I buy what I need, and then um, I go back in. So I kind of bounce back and forth. Um, I do this because there has been times where I've actually started doing a rebuild, got real busy, got real fast on it, and started putting in um, all the bad parts. So I get the parts that I need, delete anything that's bad, and then I have nothing but new parts in my inventory, and just go to work. Uh, cross member D, B, oof. That's okay. Uh, Alright, help me out here. Here we go. <laughs> Both the bottoms were okay. I needed two of the C's. Definitely gonna need a couple of these. Couple of those. Those. Couple of those. Uh, was a sweet bar B or 
I want to take a chance. I think I need at least one wheel hub. I always need two outer tie rod ends. Um, two inner tie rod ends. <laughs> Rubber bushing, this type of front end, there's always 12. Uh, B links, always need two of those. Two wheel bearings and two caps. And let's see if my memory was good enough. It's like playing that game, uh, Mahjong, where you're trying to find all the tiles. And to make sure you get all the parts. Front axle knuckle cover, got both those. Steering knuckle C's, I'm in there. D. E. Alright, oh, I'm doing well here. Gotta be careful when you get to the end like that. I've deleted all my new parts once before. Crazy. Oh, I needed a couple uppers. That sounds kind of drug related, doesn't it? Need a couple uppers. Man, gotta watch my language. <laughs> okay, did a couple of those. We did. I always miss a few parts, so that's to be expected. All right, my front tires, uh, two o five, fifty sixteen. So two o five, fifty sixteens. Those. Now, did my rims? Did both my rims get good to go? Hmm. Leave my tires out of here. How did my rims fare? Hey, both my rims fared out well. For the shocks. All right. La 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 la. la. See, I think it still cuts in just a just a hair. Believe it or not, I put it out there a little ways. So maybe I'll have to go back into the editor and um, set the track out just a little bit farther. Sorry, Mr. Sick. I'm messing with your car. Awesome car. Here I am putting big old meats on the back of it, and I'm wanting to get that rear track out a little bit farther it's definitely look like a crazy 32 that's for sure now I know this thing comes with uh, like a chop top what am I doing uh, sometimes with these modded cars oh no that's not what I did there it is there you go there we go um, just get in a hurry and you can't find the pieces that you need to click on to get this started. Uh, as I was saying, I think this is a chop top. I believe there might be a convertible version. I'll check when we get to the body. If this is a convertible version, I just may, uh, just may make it into a convertible. Um, I did go in and I also looked at the, the library for it. Library, livery, I'm not sure how you say that. But I did look at it. Um, he does have one in it, which is good. Um, I used uh, one of the templates in there. And I'm going to see how it fares on this one. So it'll be a surprise at the end. I mean, my paint shop, my paint skills and graphic skills are just fair. And trying to make graphics or anything for these cars really looks to be like a pain in the butt so um, this is just a basic thing I did just something that I uh, just like a 33 Roadster that I've seen in the past and I love the way it looked so I try to emulate it a little bit like I said it's simple so not too bad
interesting how get this engine rebuilt to see how this all plays out with the uh, addition of the side pipes. I think I'm coming down with a cold. It's late, tired, but I wanted to get this finished up and get it get it edited and get it out to everyone tonight. Uh, and I can sleep easy. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, I forgot a bushing over there. See, in some of my previous videos, I said, well, the bushings are always first, so you don't forget them. See, I almost forgot that one. I didn't follow my own rules. trying to upload some of these videos. I mean, hotel Wi-Fi is not the best. Just an FYI. Of course, I'm sure you guys already know that. That all comes off in one shot. Interesting. Um, yeah, see, so you can see the tires clipping in the inside. So I'm going to have to sp spread that track out just a little bit farther. Um, let's see what I want to do first. Let me yank this engine out, put it on the stand. Over here. Alright. Now, let's grab a few things out of here. Let's grab the, the battery, brake cylinder. Radiator out. <clears throat> Swap out my batteries. Throw the old one on charge. Send the welder over to one. And then my cleaning tool over to one. Clean her up. Oh, look at how pretty that is. Oh man, that framework looks awesome. Looks awesome. I don't know what these did, but... Man, that framework looks awesome underneath there. Alright. Let's take body off. Take fender off. The windshield off. That should have all come off with your body. Alright, so now we all have is... Just the framework. Hey, hey, look at that. Ooh, I got a headlight up here. Alright, is that cool or what? That's some, some nice framework there. Uh, okay, so let's take a dip into the body shop. Let's look for, let's see, 1932, I think should be good. Yes, here we go. Um. Stock top, chop top. Um, stock front end, some pretty cool options in here. You can pretty much do whatever you want to with this car. This is just awesome, awesome, an awesome car. Um, okay, so stock, option two. I think I can do. Well, we'll see how this works out. Um, I actually think it's that one. Um, hmm. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Oh, I like those taillights. Those taillights are going on. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, um, get the doors. We go with a chop top option on that. 
Jeez, there's so many parts. I don't even know what I've gotten now. Oh, let me just bounce out. Alright, so far looking pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, daylights. Oh, look at that. Isn't that sweet? Oh, that's gonna be sweet. Alright. Um, I'm thinking that's coming together pretty good here. La 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 la. I'm gonna leave this front end open, definitely. Um, so, option threes. I don't know which one is which for which. So I think these these must mount in the front. So I go with the clear ones. door is that the wing in the back yes it is um, crown willy bars why of course I do Jeez, um, again I've gotten so many parts in here that fuel tank we'll put the headers on later stock I need that door all right so many options with this thing it's just really hard to decide what you would like to do with it I uh, know I want to take that off you know maybe I don't know. Maybe I can't make it into a convertible. Kind of hard to. Um, I don't know. Um, okay. Headlights. These the right headlights, right? Their headlights. Thinking so far, it's looking pretty good. Um, hmm. It's got to be something that goes on the inside of this, but what is it? Something goes in it. Okay, so let's um, move the car over here to this area. Open the door. I know there's something that needs to go inside there. What is it called? The front end. Okay, so let's go find the front end. I think that's it. Front clip and gear removed. So, hey, hey, all right, I think that fits in there pretty good. Yeah, yeah. How does it look for being a convertible? Hmm. I can't see out the window there. Maybe I'll put the crop top back. I'll put the chop top back on it. Oops. that on the back you know what <clears throat> I think I'm gonna go with the standard trunk on the back of this just to change it up a little bit um, I 
make it look a little different. Oh no, that's not the one I wanted. You can get in a hurry. Duck. Alright. And Yeah, I wanna put that on there. Let me put the crop top chop top on there. I don't know what the difference is between these two. I know there's a difference, I just don't know what it is, so I'm just gonna get both of them. Yeah, I came into this without a plan. You see that? Changed my mind several times on this. Um, Pretty sick. How does that go in? Oh, that doesn't work out well. What the heck? It must be for the taller version. So. Which one was which? Okay, E. Must be for the regular one. Let's try F. There we go. Yep. And you know what? That can be painted. I have an idea for that. pretty good there move it back to this we can do the paint shop let's see just real quick how this is gonna work out that's the color it was and I want to go with library and I called it that's the model oh I don't think this is gonna work folks Flames. And that's not working. I don't must have done something wrong here. Anyway. Yeah, we're not gonna We're not gonna paint it right now. We'll decide on what color to do use it. Paint it later. Parts do I have left in here? Me. Oh, I didn't go on. Repair a few parts. Okay. I'm really wanting this to happening here. Oh, you have to have that on for that on. I see. Okay. I don't want that on right now. All right. Let's get. Let's take a look at this puppy. Uh, what do we have here? The pistons. Man, this is a bare bones block here. Let's get to work. out and your block off take it to the repair table fingers crossed I can repair most of it anyway great block is repaired good for me all right let's puppy upside down all right can't put it on without that. 
Don't know what it's doing, it's making all kinds of noises. Still ghosted. That's weird. There we go. Alright. Alright, it is coming together. I love that little tank on the front. That is just so that's just cool as hell. Alright. Some of you may scream at me. Um, oh, did my radiator get fixed? Oh, radiator. So I need a radiator. Let's throw a radiator in it real quick. Um, these parts in it. Ah, keep hitting the wrong thing here. I told you I was tired. It's been a long day. Long day at work, then I have to come in and put in a few more hours on this thing. Hmm. Yeah, it's fine. Alright. Let's see. I'm going to get rid of this stuff because I'm not going to use any of it to keep the drive shaft. I already have that. Keep the pipes. My woolly bars, I'll get rid of one of them. Don't need that. Stock body with V8 badges, flathead. Nope. Don't need that. Don't need the license plate. Don't need that. Alright, I think I am almost good to go. Did I already have wheelie bars right here? No, I did not, so let me throw the wheelie bars on again, man. I'm a one. Oh, man, that's just that's just flat out awesome looking. Alright, let's get some engine parts, shall we? Alrighty. Now, this has always been fun for me because I've always tried to get everything that I think I'm going to need in one shot. It doesn't work out that way all the time. Um, but I do give it a shot. Cam gear I'm going to need. Um, there's a couple of clip these. Got the crankshaft. Need three of these. Crankshaft pulley. Heads I'm gonna get from the performance shop, um, but I will need valve covers. Okay, valve covers. Um, headers I'll get from the performance shop. Fuel filter I get from the performance shop. Performance shop, performance shop, performance shop. Uh, Supercharger intake. So, we have valve, overhead uh, V8, oil pan, piston rings. Piston rings from there. I'll get the pistons from the performance shop. I need a fan. 16 rockers. Eight rod caps. These belts, there's so many of these belts, you really have to look at them. Otherwise, you're you're coming back into the shop several times just to find the right belt. Um, and everybody's watching me going, it's right there, you idiot, it's right there. There it is. And then get the B belt. Alright, spark plugs I'm getting later. Starter I need. Um, supercharger belt I need. Supercharger intake I need. Supercharger water pulley I need. Timing chain. Uh, timing chain cover. Push rods, need 16 of those. Uh, water pump. And while I'm thinking about it, I need, oh geez, I was just thinking about it. Oh, 
need the supercharger and the air filters. So I need two of the air filters. I actually need the supercharger itself. Uh, I think that's it for there. Crossing my fingers. So we are going here to get my alternator, and camshaft, two carbs, clutch plate, pressure plate, heads. Batters, my wheel, go pump. Uh, get all those. <laughs> Distance. Power strength. You know, how does a power strength give you performance? I mean, really. Some of this is, sorry, a little ridiculous. But hey, I'll take it. I think that's all I am going to need, folks. All right. Let's start to build this bad boy. Get up above it here. I usually put the crank bearings in first. I don't know why I'm doing this. It's kind of haphazard. I'm telling you, it's been a long day. Good thing I'm not your mechanic, right? <laughs> Good thing I'm not my own mechanic. So. Hoping everyone on the coast is doing okay. Um, the hurricane's hitting it down there pretty hard right now, down the Carolinas. So I hope everyone is staying safe. Hope you guys evacuated out of there. I wish only the best for y'all. Ah, that wasn't too bad. Oh, now I remember what I wanted to get out of the shop. Clutch bearing. I'll have to get it later. It's all good. Power steering pump. Performance power steering pump. I'll make your car turn better. And also give you a little bit more horsepower. How about that? around all right let's see here what am I doing here all right adding parts I usually put the distributor in first because I tell you what what you'll end up doing is you'll put this on you'll forget these little clips right here you don't know how many times I've seen on the forums where's clip B where's clip A no one knows where these things are at. Quite funny, actually. Push rods. This, these builds are kind of monotonous because you've got all these little parts you have to put in. I'm sure you feel the same way. Need some custom rock arms too. We need some roller rockers in these. Come on, guys. Red Duck, get on that, would you? Want some roller rockers? That would be cool.
Da 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 da. Valve cover, good deal. All right, go ahead and put the header on. Spark plugs. Go ahead and finish up this side. All right, fuel filter. Jump around to the front. You know, I really wish car building was this easy. Because I tell you what, I would probably, I would probably be building some, uh, some cars in my spare time. Not that I have a whole lot of spare time. As I said, I just finished up doing a little bit of work a few minutes ago, and it is late. It is almost 10 o'clock my time. Here I am rebuilding an engine for a 32 Ford Roadster. The only bummer with this whole build is the miles that are on the Roadster. You know, the last episode I kind of complained it's like over 200,000 miles on the Roadster. But then after I got offline and I started thinking about it, I was like, well, you know, the 1932, how many miles do you want to have on it? And if I guess uh, I could go into the salon and buy something brand new and stick it in the parking lot. But hey, what fun is that? Part of uh, pride of ownership is building it with your own hands. Am I right or am I right? Have the intake? I swear I bought that, right? Did I buy the wrong intake? Ah, okay. Back to the parts depot I go. Um. Oh, I bought it for the V8 and not for the overhead valve V8. Major difference. Excuse my mistakes. Supercharger. Oh, I love these things, man. They're so cool. What I really like for these filters that are going on top of it, I wish they'd come in red too. That'd make the whole thing look cool. Alright. Down at the bottom here. Belt on. And. And for the most part, it is ready to roll. Alright. Now I took my crane out of the way, didn't I? Did my crane move on its own or did I move it? I probably moved it when I moved the car. Off the engine crate. Into the car you go. Now you can go back to where you belong. Oh, look at that beastie in there. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, so now I can add these. And didn't I just have that on there before? I did, didn't I? What happened to it? Yeah, there's... Hmm... Strange things are afoot. Doesn't look right. It's like the ghosting image is still there. Alright. Uh, move it back by the garage door. I don't know what seat goes in here. Buckets. And a chain steering wheel? Oh, fully sick. Are you kidding me? Chain steering wheels go in lowrider and Paula's. Okay. Oops. Alright. So let's go to the interior shop. 
pick ourselves up a couple of nice sets of uh, seats. And I think I have a color in mind for this. And I think I'm going to go with. Uh, oh, geez. So many choices. Choices, choices, decisions, decisions. Let's go with a couple of comfy these and I really want to have a, a sports steering wheel on it and not the no I don't want that one I want this one all right oh, they sit up a little bit too high uh, alrighty And I put the wrong string wheel in it. What am I nuts? Okay. Okay. So, go ahead and go with these seats that he has set up for it because it does sit a little bit lower and it'll look better in there. Ah, come on. This is why I get rid of parts. Get all anxious. So that's the seat I want. Not that one. I keep hitting the I try to hit the escape and I keep hitting the different buttons. Alright, so we've got that in there, got that in there. Right hand side thirty two Ford coupe. Take a look at our global body condition. What am I missing here? Because I know there's pieces missing. Clutch bearing, gearbox, yep, yep. Drive shaft and starter, yep, yep. Uh, the mirrors, the trunk, the hood, E. Hmm. So. Send it over to the paint booth. And like I said, I've got a color in mind. I think I'm going to go um, with yellow. You guys have seen American Graffiti. You can appreciate it. Yeah, see, that kind of looks funky on there. All right. Nice. Let's see what we got here. The roll bar it's painted too so you know what I'm gonna do take that out move you out to front and I'm gonna paint this part and check current and I think I'm going to make this Kind of hard to see what it, the color is going to be. Kind of an orange. Paint a red. No. Yeah, I'm wasting money on paint. It's all good. I love that you can paint the roll bars. <laughs> Is that like sick or what? All right, so I need right windows and some mirrors. Let's go into the body shop here. This is gonna be kind of painstaking, so window window and you know I probably should have done that before I painted the painted the roll bar but that's okay I'll take the roll bar out before I repaint it mirror mirror T 
Sit down, shut up, and hang on. Eh, that works. Um, I don't think it requires rear bumper. Yeah, maybe I should have painted it. Should have had those installed before I painted it. That works, that works. Um, yeah. All right. Yeah, you know what? I don't know what the deal is with that. Um, let's get, dump it out for right now. Where are the parts I don't need? Um, take the roll bar out. to the paint shop again. Set current paint. There's my Camaro. Can't wait to do a little something something with that. other ghostly shadowy figures except for that front yeah no kidding I don't have it all right looks pretty good on the inside there all right let's get her back on the left and let's finish it up I'm not gonna put a custom transmission in it so do need to get that throw out bearing. I call it a throw out bearing. Any transmission in there. Drive shaft on. am I missing on this puppy? I'm at 83%. I don't have the plates on it. Hood E, rear license plate, trunk E, front bumper G. Everything else looks good. Um, not at 100%. Hood E, rear license plate, hood E and trunk E. Hood E and trunk E. Sounds funny. what they have here um g hood e hood e i see and trunk e okay so that need those two um Okay, come on down. Aha. Uh -huh. Ah. Ooh, tricky, tricky. Must be on the front. Tricky. Oof. Man, that was painful. Let's go buy another tank. Maybe we won't go with the uh, optional four. Let's just go with the uh, basic one here. Yep. Wrong. Wrong answer. That one fits in there kind of nice. Kind of high. Is that okay? Looks like it's kind of floating in there. 
Should be good. Mm -hmm. Is there a couple of them in there with the Ford emblem? No, just that one. We'll try to buy that one again and see what happens. Yep, it fits up there the same way. Alright, what else am I missing here? Oh, 95% rear license plate. Okay, so for those American Graffiti fans, I think I, this is what I'm going to do. Let's see if I can... Uh, definitely want California plates. Or should it be Florida plates? I think it's, we'll go with California. Custom one. Uh, graffiti? How do you spell graffiti? Oh my. Uh, let me think about this. I F F I T I an A in there Graffiti. Okay. Got that. California dreaming? Graffiti. Alright. Put this puppy on the floor. I think that just about does it. This is pretty sick. I mean, this, this is very cool looking. Um, yeah, I don't have the wing on the back. I kind of opted not to do that. Just think it looks kind of cool. I, I love the fact that there's so many options for this car. I really do. All right, let's throw some photos. Got to get a couple of photos because, you know, Gotta have some photos. Oh yeah. Let's get a zoom in shot. No, I don't like rotate. Hmm. Back it up a little bit. Shut this door. Oh, yeah. Gotta love this car. Open it up to show the interior out a little bit. Seem like I'm not in focus here. What the heck? There we go. All right. Well, there you have it. 1932 Ford Roadster. Fully rebuilt. Red roll cage kind of matches with the theme up front. Love the chrome framework underneath there. That just that just sets it off. And this tank in the front, oh my gosh, it's just awesome. Well, that's gonna be it for me for tonight. Uh, let me get out of here and look at the editing. And where's the bathroom at in here? I need to hit the bathroom. Do we not have a bathroom in here? Okay. Anyway. All right. This is Sir's Quasar. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. 
keep customizing. And I am out. <laughs>